Okay, so let's study the R implementation of regression spline. So remember that we are using the Nile River water level data. And to use regression spline, we need a new library. So library splines. So you have to install the package if you have not. And we have to define not points. So we have 100 observations and we have done the step function regression with three not points. So the, this time also that we use the three not points, maybe just equally divide 100 observations. Then you can use the BS function. The, uh, this is the basis spline. So BS function time and knots is equal to the, this point. So we have three knot points. So third degree polynomial, so cubic spline and three knot points. So the, um, basically there's three plus three. So we have basically six variables. So BS should have the six functions. So this function generates these six functions. So you can see the first column, second column, and third column. So this generates uh, one cubic function. So I think that, um, we have some, so R has some modification. So this is not just X and X squared and X cubed, but basically, so this makes the cubic curve. And the, the other three variables are corresponding to each node. So, for example, the, this, the fourth variable is 0 until um, x is equal to 25, but after that, the, it gradually the gets larger and larger. So, basically, this is um, x minus c cubed uh, plus in the slide. And the fifth variable is 0 until x is equal to 50, and after that, it gets larger, actually, the, at 51. And the last one, the, it's 0 until um, 76 observation and after that it gets larger. So basically this ba makes the basis of the regression spline. So another way to describe the basis function is just specifying degrees of freedom. So time and bf6. So um, we have six variables in this above but the, if we just say df6 the R automatically the sets six variables. So we have similar six variables here. And not points are here. So, um, you know, the um, percentile point, um, the quartile points um, have the many different definitions and R uses slightly different definition um, from me. So these functions are slightly different, but the, uh, it automatically generate um, six um, variables. So now we want to um, fit the linear model. So, okay, so basically this is linear model. So I name it the linear model by regression spline and six degrees of freedom. So six. So LM, Nile, we want to fit Nile on these six variables. So BS time, maybe this time that I use knots I defined above. So this is the three knots cubic spline. So basically linear regression has been done. So you can calculate AIC. I think before that was 1274 or something, so it's comparable, it's slightly worse, but you can see coefficient here. So we fit the um, the Nile on these six variables, so uh, we have just six coefficients. So this is just linear regression. So now we can just describe the curve, but the, um, here we use the predict function to get the confidence interval um, for this curve. 
So we want to get standard error and the prediction curves, uh, the confidence curve. So um, yeah, so now we want to fit, we want to overlay the graph over this. So maybe we want to erase this um, last one. So um, okay, so plot time nine. Then we get this, and we want to overlay this the fitted curve. So we can use lines function and time fitted lrs six. Then you can get this. So um, this curve isn't bad; it fits well to the data. But the maybe. Uh, uh, we have concern about maybe this right end point. Okay, so it fits well for the data, but if we extrapolate until 1980, probably this curve is not plausible. So uh, this is very the sharp decline, but the, this is just to fit maybe the last three observations. So the cubic spline have some problem on the um, right hand side or left hand side. In the middle, it works pretty well. Now, to see this, maybe we can uh, add confidence uh, a prediction bar, uh, the confidence bar. Lines, time, and predicted. So this is the same as the uh, fitted L LRS6, but also that we can add Standard error. Maybe we use the dashed line, so approximate ninety-five percent confidence band. So this is the upper limit. So um, so what's wrong? The time and predict fit plus two times standard error that is ninety five percent. Oh, I see. So we should comment out. So this. So you can get this line. So you can see the prediction band is wider at the end. So actually, the this curve is not reliable at the right end and left end. Maybe we can add also the negative one. So then we have the 95% the confidence band. So this is wide at the end. So this is the regression um, spline. And we have used the BS function, the basis spline function, but also that we can use the NS function. So alternative way. So ns function of time with df6, then we can get almost the same functions. So, but just that these functions have the different basis and a different way um, to uh, generate six functions. So it uses so-called the QL decomposition. So maybe we can describe that these six curves. So plot the uh, one one hundred. So just 100 time points, so I use 1 to 100, whatever is fine. And the df6, and the we take the first column, so the first vector, and we describe the line. And actually the, this ranges from negative 0.4 to 0.7, so the, I just the, um, put this range. Okay. So then uh, this is one curve. So it's uh, totally different from the usual um, cubic curve, usual cu cubic curve. So uh, it's different. So they use different bases. And um, next one, maybe second one, maybe we can just use lines function. And the still, maybe we use the type L. Maybe we change color, color too. 
then we get the second one. So these two functions we use. And the, actually, but we have six functions. So we have three, maybe color three, and the color four for the fourth variable, and the color five, and the fifth variable. The color six is yellow, and we cannot usually see it. So maybe seven and six. Okay. Then uh, we have six, um, seven also yellow. Okay. So uh, these the six variables we use. So this is another way. So instead of uh, BS, we can use NS. Since we have slightly different bases, we have slightly different results, but basically that we got almost the same results. Okay, so this is uh, our impl implementation of 7.4 uh, regression spline. Uh, see you then.